our question number a if you look at the question number a the function y equals f of x and the first derivative f dash of x is given f prime of x the first derivative of the function is given and you need to find the equation of the normal at the point p of 4 comma 1 so this part a got 4 marks so you know you don't need to find the derivative because it's deriv the derivative is already given so the uh, in order to find the equation of the normal equation of the normal is y it's a straight line so y equals mx plus c only thing uh, this is the equation of the tangent for normal you need to use the negative reciprocal of your slope so you need to find the slope this is a gradient function and replace x by the x coordinate 4 when you replace x by the x coordinate 4 your f dash of x at x is equal to 4 is 4 square root of 4 minus 2 minus 8 by 3 into 4 square so when you simplify square root of 4 is 2 so 4 times 2 8 minus 2 minus 8 by 3 times 16 you can cancel it so you will have 6 minus 1 upon 6 which is which is 36 minus 1 35 upon 6 that's the slope that's the slope of the tangent so when they ask you to find the equation of the normal you take this slope and find the negative reciprocal so the uh, slope of the normal slope of the normal is negative reciprocal you change the sign put the number upside down 6 upon 35 so you got the slope of the normal already so the equation of the normal is y equals mx plus c that's it now you need to find c use the point p of 4 comma 1 in here replace x by the x coordinate y by the y coordinate 1 and you get c already so when you replace replace x by 4 y by 1 1 equals minus 6 by 35 into 4 plus c because x is 4 6 4s are 24 bring this here it becomes 1 plus 24 by 35 plus c sorry equals uh, c so which gives you c equals 35 plus 24 which is 59 divided by 35 if i'm not wrong 59 by 35 so our equation of the normal is you replace the c value here so our equation of the normal is y equals minus 6 upon 35 x plus the c value plus 59 by 35 that's the equation of the normal and again when you just leave this result as it is you won't get the full mark but because when you read the question they want you to write the equation of the normal in the form ax plus by plus c where a b c are integers so you cannot leave here you need to remove the fractions you need to make everything as an integer. So you re, uh, multiply everything by 35. You will get 35y is minus 6x plus 59. And just put this thing, everything in one side. So it becomes 6x plus 35y minus 59 is 0. That is the equation of the normal in the form of ax plus by plus c is 0 where a, b, c are integers. So this will give you 4 marks if you do this properly. And again take note in some questions you won't be given the point you will be given just the x coordinate. x coordinate is 4. You need to find the y coordinate. So you need to find the y coordinate. You need the actual function, not f dash of x. You need f of x. So if you replace x by 4 in the given f of x, you will get the y coordinate. Here it's f dash of x is given, not f of x. And that's the reason your point p of 4 comma 1 is given. 
So what we do, we take the uh, gradient function, replace x by 4, you got the slope of the tangent and find the negative reciprocal of the slope, that's the slope of the normal. So our equation is y equals mx plus c and find the c using the point. And you can leave, it, leave the equation here, but they want you to write the equation in this form, ax plus by plus c is 0 where a, b, c are integers. So this is our equation of the normal. If you look at the part B, they want you to find f dash f of, f of x. The derivative is given, you need to find f of x. So basically they are talking about the integration. So if you integrate the function, you will get 5 marks. So how do we find f of x? We integrate this function. So uh, f dash of x, we write this properly. A 4 x 4 into x to the power half minus 2 minus 8 upon 3 x to the power minus 2, bring it to numerator so it becomes x to the power minus 2. So when you integrate this, it becomes f of x. f of x is integration of this whole thing. So it becomes 4 into x to the power n plus 1 by n plus 1. That's the integration of x to the power n. And when you integrate a constant, it becomes constant into x if the constant is all alone. If the constant is together with some x term, treat, treat this, keep the constant as it is and just integrate the function. So it will become x to the power n plus 1 by n plus 1 and the main thing is plus c. That's very important. So our f of x is, f of x is equal to 4x to the power 3 by 2 by 3 by 2 and this will become minus 2x and minus 8 by 3 into x to the power minus 1 by minus 1 plus c. Again simplify further. So our f of x is the 2 goes up 8 by 3 x to the power 3 by 2 minus 2x minus so minus into minus plus 8 upon 3x because x to the power 1 you bring it to denominator in order to change this negative uh, power to positive so you will get this but again the question got 5 marks do you think this is the answer no you need to find the c because you are given a point on the curve which is 4 comma 1 so if you substitute the point here f of x is basically y so replace y coordinate here and x coordinate here, you will get the c when you substitute the values. Now take the x and y coordinate and substitute here. f of x is basically y. So y is 1. 8 upon 3 into 4 to the power 3 by 2 minus 2 into 4 plus 8 upon 3 into 4 plus c. So you can get the C easily. 1 is 8 upon 3 into 4 to the power 3 by 2. Use your calculator. It's 2 square power 3 by 2 which is 2 cube 8 minus 8 plus 2 by 3 plus C. That's it. So bring put all the numbers at, uh, bring all the numbers to one side. So you will get 1, 1 plus 8 is 9 minus 64 upon 3 minus 2 upon 3 which is our c which is which is a c so just simplify this so our c is you need to multiply this by 3 so put it as 3 so easy for us to simplify 3 9s are 27 27 64 and 2 so our c will be 27, 3 nines are 27, 27 minus, uh, 27 minus 64, so which will be 40, 37, 37 plus 27 is 64, 37, 39 minus 39, again 1, 3, your C is minus 13. So we substitute the C in the function f of x. The f of x is the integral of f dash of x. 
So when we substitute our f of x is basically 8 by 3 x to the power 3 by 2 and minus 2x plus 8 by 3x plus c that's our f of x but replace c by minus 30. This is the solution. So if you if you leave it if you don't find the c you don't get the full 5 marks. If you think that you can just integrate that is the function f of x you don't get the full marks. That's the tricky part, tricky part here. You have, you are given a point P of 4 comma 1, substitute the point and find C, substitute C back into the function. So you can get the full 5 marks.